Glad to have you with us here on Seahawks today. I am merely Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Mock draft season rolls on. It is mock draft 4.0 for your Seattle Seahawks. But this is the very first one that we've done on the show with trades. What we'll do is we'll have the simulator make all the selections for the other 31 teams, and then I'll make the picks for Seattle throughout all seven rounds. And We'll see if we come up with a trade or two before the end of today's show. Now, we'll get to the business at hand here in just a bit, but I want to know, a little survey question for the folks out there. Who is your favorite Seahawks draft pick of all time? Not who the best is. Who is your personal favorite? No wrong answers here. Just let me know in the comments section who your favorite is, and we'll get started with today's show. Let's set up the scene here for you of what the draft situation looks like for the Seahawks heading in uh, to this one. The Seahawks have the 16th overall selection in the first round, do not have a second round pick. They have a third round pick at 81. Then they have two fourth round picks at 102 and 118. And then they have two sixth round picks at 179 and 192. And they wrap things up in round seven at 235. The team needs for Seattle. Looking for another pass rusher on the edge. Some obvious needs when it comes to the offensive line and the defensive line. The linebacker position, you did a good job with who you signed, bringing in Jerome Baker and Terrell Dodson, but you need some reinforcements behind those guys. Still need a Devin Bush replacement, if you will. Need some help with the DBs, and then the tight end position as well could uh, use some work there. So with that said, setting up to Seattle's pick at 16, Here's the last five picks leading up to this selection. Darren Arnold goes to the Vikings at 11. Quinion Mitchell goes to the Broncos at 12. Latu goes to the Bears at 13. J.C. Latham goes to the Saints at 14. And then the Colts grab up Brock Bowers, the tight end from Georgia, with the 15th selection. So with that, that puts the Seahawks on the clock. And, folks, we have a trade. Trade alerts here on Seattle Seahawks today as we have an offer and we have accepted said offer from the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Seahawks trade down from 16 to 20. And in exchange, they get a second round pick and give up a third round pick to the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we're going to move up quite a bit into the second round, and we're only going to drop four spots as a result. With Brock Bowers unavailable at this point, and some of the other guys that were at the top of our draft board, might as well stock up a little bit and help ourselves in the second round in this case. So we'll get to the selection here in just a bit, but we want to hear from you guys. Should the Seahawks trade down from pick number 16, like we've done in this mock draft here. It's our pin comment today. Why for yes, in for no. Weigh in, tell me what you think. So the best available on the board, what really stands out to me specifically is those defensive tackles. A lot of you have been begging the Seahawks to draft interior defensive linemen. Last year, the Seahawks passed on Jalen Carter to go with Devin Witherspoon. Will they go with a defensive lineman this time? Could they shock Everybody and go receiver with a guy like Brian Thomas Jr. or get some help on the offensive line. The pick is in. Dun, 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 dun. With the 20th overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Byron Murphy, defensive tackle from the University of Texas. The eyes of Texas are upon you all the live long day. I love Byron Murphy. I know that Mel Kuyper has him as the number three defensive tackle in this year's draft. He's number one on my board. I am so excited to see what this guy can do at the next level, and I think he's ready to compete for playing time right away. He was a first-team All-Big 12 selection in 2023. It was also named the Big 12 Conference's Defensive Lineman of the Year, and what a force to be reckoned with Byron Murphy was. And the Seahawks looking for long-term solutions when it comes to the defensive line. Byron Murphy could be a guy that plays his entire career in Seattle and play at a high level. The scouting report on Byron Murphy, a good build with a thick lower half. He shoots his hands straight, uh, and with his size, his frame, he's hard to move, which is very important when you talk about the defensive tackle position. Solid against double teams. Not afraid to take those on. 
and he has his way with those guys most of the time. The negative, the knock on Byron Murphy of sorts is he stops his feet on contact uh, a little bit too often, but certainly that can be coached up a bit. You look at the statistics from Byron Murphy last year. Five sacks, 29 tackles, and that just doesn't really tell the whole story because he was good all around. Not only was he able to effectively get after the quarterback, he was quite the run stopper as well, and the Seahawks are specifically looking for guys that can stop the run. So I love this pick of Byron Murphy. We traded down, we got a second-round pick out of it, and we got a player that the Seahawks probably would have even considered at 16. So let's ask you, should the Seahawks draft Byron Murphy? D for draft, P for pass. Weigh in the comment section, tell me what you think. We'll get to our second round pick in a moment, but first let's tell you about today's sponsor. That is Game Time. Game Time is the best place to go for the best seats and the lowest prices guaranteed. Whether you're looking for tickets to sporting events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more, Game Time has got you covered in any way, shape, and form. And I know the Kraken are still going. We got the Mariners back. Plenty going on in the great city of Seattle. And Game Time's got it all for you. Pick the event you want to go to. Choose the seat you want to sit in. You get the idea of what that view looks like if you want that or not. If not, don't worry. There's plenty of other seats out there. And then, bam, just within a matter of moments, you're checking out on Game Time, folks. And it's very simple to use. All major credit card providers, Apple, uh, as well as Venmo and Google Pay. And if you download Game Time today and use the promo code Chat Sports, we're going to give you $20 off your first purchase. You heard that right. $20 off when you use the promo code Chat Sports. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Download Game Time today. Terms and conditions to apply. Promo code Chat Sports for $20 off the best seats, the lowest prices guaranteed with Game Time. Download today. We move ahead to the second round, and this is where we find Michael Penix Jr. headed to the Seattle Seahawks. Now, you already have two quarterbacks on the roster with Geno Smith and Sam Howell there, but pretty much everybody knows those two guys are not your long-term solutions. You are not going to win a Super Bowl with Geno Smith and Sam Howell. Michael Penix, some people have a first-round grade on in this situation. He falls where he's still on the board. I can't pass him up. Even though it's not the highest need necessarily for the Seahawks at the moment, I got a potential franchise quarterback in Michael Penix, a hometown kid and everything, a star with the Washington Huskies. You got my intrigue of taking him in that second round. First team All-American took the Washington Huskies to the college football playoff national championship game this year. Mel Kuyper's got him as the number six QB on his big board. And the scouting report on him, I really like what Michael Penix brings to the table. I do have concerns about his injury history, but the player, the quarterback that Michael Penix is, that's not where the concern is. He's an excellent decision maker. He dissects defenses pre-snap very well. Solid accuracy. Subtle footwork in the pocket. The knock on him of sorts uh, of his game on the field, he does kind of lack plus arm strength. No one is going to confuse him for Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes in that regard, but he does pretty much everything else well. Last year, when he took the Huskies to the national championship game, he was stellar. Nearly 5,000 passing yards, a 65% completion rate, 39 total touchdowns, 11 interceptions. I really like Michael Penix, and I like the value of Penix in the second round here. So, should the Seahawks draft Michael Penix Jr.? Let's ask you now. H-Y for hell yes, H-N for hell no. Uh, Get loud in that comment section. Let me know how you feel one way or the other if Michael Penix should be a member of the Seattle Seahawks. We are talking about your Seattle Seahawks each and every day here on Seahawks Today as we catch you down, get you ready for the NFL Draft. We're also bringing you our daily news and rumors segments. We have our live shows every week. We're talking free agency, trades, and more. Your off-season headquarters is right here on Seattle Seahawks today. Never miss a moment. Lock us in, and you'll be glad you did. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV for the best Seahawks coverage around. Let's go to the third round now, and that's where we get help at the linebacker position as the Seahawks select Kentucky linebacker Trevin Wallace with the 81st pick in the third round. And Trevin Wallace, a guy that's still coming into his own, a very young football player, played three seasons at Kentucky, was an all-freshman team member in the Southeastern Conference 
back in 2021. Mel has him as the number seven off-ball linebacker in this year's draft. And Trevin Wallace, we've seen his uh, stock really start to skyrocket here. He's gaining some momentum uh, of just the potential that he brings to the table with still being a very young player. Thick build. I mean, you probably could spell it T-H-I-C-C with what we're talking about of a thick build here. Decent change of direction, solid acceleration. He's a sure tackler, which is exactly what I hear what I want to hear when I talk about an off-ball linebacker. He does lack physicality at the point of attack at, at times, so he does have that knock on against him, but otherwise, he passes the smell test. The numbers from Wallace in 2023, we'll bring those to you now. As you can see, he was not only a sure tackler, but he also did a good job getting after the quarterback. Uh, five and a half sacks, eight tackles for loss, eight and a half to be exact, one forced fumble in 80 tackles on the season. The rest of the picks now, let's go to the fourth round. That's where the Seahawks select Kansas offensive guard Dominic Pooney with the 118th overall pick in round four. And you guys know me. I'm a Kansas Jayhawk. That's where I went to school. And I am so excited that we finally have a mock draft with a Jayhawk going to Seattle. And not just any Jayhawk. We're talking about a guy in Dominic Pooney who does it all. He can play tackle. He can play guard. He's ready to start for somebody in the National Football League. A great story. Started his career at the D2 level of Central Missouri. Comes to Kansas and ended up being an all-Big 12 first-team selection last year. I would love to see him with the Seattle Seahawks team. As a fellow Jayhawk, I'd have to get that jersey right there. To the sixth round we go, and the Seahawks select another personal favorite of mine. Imagine how this is all working. Uh, Owasso, Oklahoma native, just outside of Tulsa. Uh, Ohio State safety, Josh Proctor at 197 overall. And Josh Proctor, I I saw this guy play all the way back in high school. He's got good size, good length, and balance. This is a good value find for being in round six. And we know the Seahawks could use some help at that safety spot, adding some depth here. Josh Proctor is a guy that I would expect to compete for playing time right away. We'll wrap up the mock draft here in a moment, but first, who's a player the Seahawks should draft? We've talked about several names today. Obviously, there's hundreds of guys to choose from. Weigh in the comment section and let us know a player you'd like to see in Seattle in 2024. Also in the sixth round, we're going to stay at the Big Ten Conference. This is a guy we've talked about on the channel before. Iowa tied in Eric All with the pick for Seattle at 192. He's had some injury concerns, but when he's been healthy – He's been very good. He's very capable of stretching the field. I think when you look at the tight end room for Seattle, you have a really good receiving tight end, Noah Fant. you got a blocking tight end in Pharaoh Brown. I think with what Ryan Grubb has in mind with this air, this air raid scheme, they would like to have another receiving tight end, and a young one at that, Eric Ohl, could be a good fit there. Finally, we finish off our mock draft in round seven with the 235th overall pick with Gabriel Murphy, the edge rusher from UCLA. The Seahawks are meeting with him in Seattle on a top 30 visit, so he's already got their attention. His brother is a high-profile player in this year's draft, and his numbers weren't bad. Five and a half sacks, uh, 10 sacks combined over over the last two seasons. High motor, good length, solid pick for Seattle here in the seventh round. So to recap our draft picks for the Seattle Seahawks, We begin trading down in the first round from 16 to 20, and we get Byron Murphy from Texas. At 51, the pick we acquired from the Pittsburgh Steelers, we go quarterback. Michael Penix Jr. is on the board. Can't say no to him if he's still around there. Then at 81, we go linebacker. We get Trevin Wallace from Kentucky, still a very young football player coming into his own. We get some much-needed help on the offensive line at 118 with Dominic Pooney from the University of Kansas, who can play guard and tackle. And then our final three picks, we get safety help with Josh Proctor from Ohio State. We get another receiving tight end and Eric All out of Iowa at 192. And then we wrap up the draft, getting UCLA edge rusher Gabriel Murphy with this selection. So how did I do? I think that's a pretty good mock draft, if I'd say so myself. Give me a grade in the comments section, A, B, C, D, or F, anything less than an A, you're a hater. Spam those A's in the comments section. We'll see you next time right here on Seahawks Today.